What's up everybody, Joe White here, and uh, today I want to talk a little bit about um, GTA Online and what the future may hold for GTA Online. Um, a while back, GTA 6 was known as Project Americans, and there was a wild rumor going around that it's going to feature South America and North America and all the states in between, and you're going to get to travel the, the road. Well, I don't think we're going to get that per se. Um, not with GTA 6 anyway. Now, with GTA Online, everybody's saying, oh, it's GTA Online 2. GTA Online 2. I don't think there's even going to be a GTA Online 2. Hear me out on this. There are games like World of Warcraft. EverQuest. Is that even still a thing? Um, Dungeons and Dragons Online. Is that even still a thing? Most notably, uh, Final Fantasy XIV now. And every year or so, or a couple years or so, they come out with an expansion. Um, you pay, or you don't have to pay a certain amount of money if you're already subscribed to the service on these things, but once you reach a certain level... You, op you may have to pay some like $15 or something like that, but you get the expansion. and It's a whole new world with all new missions and all new quests and all new weapons and maybe even a, a new character that you could play as and everything like that. This is what I think they're going to do with Grand Theft Auto Online. It's not going to happen right away. It's definitely not going to happen right away. We're, we're, I'm going to tell you right now, Grand Theft Auto Online did not launch, I want to say, until about maybe two or three months after Grand Theft Auto V launched. So given that buffer and given that track record, here's what I think will happen. One day, once Grand Theft Auto VI releases, Rockstar is going to announce the GTA Online Vice City Expansion Pack. They're not going to charge any amount of money for that. Well, now that you have GTA Plus, they may charge you for this, given the money-grubbing idiots that they are. They're already going to make billions upon millions or whatever the case may be with this game. They've already made their millions. They, they can start counting the money now, um, provided that it doesn't go too woke and doesn't upset a ton of people, which, again... Like I said in my previous video, if anybody could go out there and sat satirize America, Rockstar game. You know, they are the South Park of video games. But what I think will happen, getting back to GTA Online, is they're going to set up the Vice City version of Online as an expansion pack. Um, and what I think will happen is once you do some certain things and finish up whatever you need to do in GTA Online in Los Santos. Because, let's let's face it, Los Santos is not going away. That game is still printing money. That game is still making them hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. So why would they want to get rid of it? Why would they want to scrap it entirely just because GTA 6 is coming out and just because they have a new city created? It's an online game. So you're basically, with, with the exception of a few things, a few data points, you're streaming the game. Much like World of Warcraft, yes, you have to install it, but then mo the majority of the game is online. So here's what I think will happen, getting back to this. I think that you're going to start off GTA Online in Los Santos. If you're a new player to the game or even an old player, you're still going to start off in Los Santos. And one day down in Los Santos International Airport, a little airplane icon is going to appear. And no, that's not for flight school. You will have to pay a certain amount of in-game currency. And you can book a flight cross-country to Vice City. Yes, I think they're going to give us both. And you can fly back and forth between the two. And it kind of like... Rockstar has the ability to do this. They got more money than God. They can they can create more server space for this. So I think that you fly to Vice City, and now you have an entirely new area to play. 
And then you could fly back to Los Santos and visit your apartment there and visit your stuff there. This is what I think will happen. You're going to get, it's going to be like a whole new world. And then maybe a couple years down the line, they add Liberty City from Grand Theft Auto 4 to the mix. They update the map of Grand Theft Auto 4, and they add that to the mix. This does a few things. One, it creates more money from Rockstar, because you're going to want to buy those shark cards. The little kids are going to beg their mommy and daddy for the shark cards so that they can have an empire all over America. Again, Project America. So, also, you can invite the voice actors for Trevor, Michael, Franklin, uh, Lester back. They've already done some work with Franklin and everything in GTA Online, updating that. It opens the potential to get the voice actor who played Nico Bellic to come back and play. Maybe you can interact with Nico in the or Roman in this uh, in Vice City. You can also go and get the voice actors from GTA 6 now to participate in GTA Online. So I think I, it's a short video, but I really think that this is where they're headed with GTA Online. They're going to start doing – they're not going to scrap Los Santos altogether. It makes them too much money. They're gonna, if anything, you're going to want to expand to it. Um, the people over at uh, GTA 6 O'Clock, James Jarvis and Dan Dawkins, were talking about how there's certain GPA role-playing servers online. People role-play in this. So this could add to that. But anyway, this is just a short video. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think that they're going to expand the universe? Do you think they're going to scrap Los Santos? Uh, what do you think? Do you think that we get GTA 4? Do you think somewhere down the line we get Vice City thrown into the mix on GTA Online? Do you think we get a remaster of Grand Theft Auto 4 to coincide with that? Let's hope it's a hell of a lot better than the remasters they did of the original uh, 3D trilogy, I guess it's called. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm going to go chill out and watch the Game Awards. The Game Awards are tonight. They're about an hour away as I'm recording this. So uh, I'm going to go chill out, eat some food, and watch the Game Awards. Continue on with my merry way. But let me know what you think in the comments below. It's the future for GTA Online.